Have you ever walked out of an interview wondering if you asked the right questions? Did you ever feel that awkward silence after bringing up a topic that might have been better left unspoken? What if I told you that certain questions could actually sabotage your chances of landing that dream job? Today, we're going to uncover the 10 questions you should absolutely avoid asking in any job interview. And I'll show you how to make sure you're always putting your best foot forward. Hey everyone, welcome back to Career Zone, your go-to channel for all things career and job search. I know we took a short break, but guess what? We are back, better and stronger than ever. I am your career buddy, and today we're diving into a crucial topic. The 10 questions you should absolutely avoid asking in any job interview. Asking the wrong questions can make you seem unprepared or uninterested, and we want to make sure you leave the best impression possible. Let's jump right in. Question number one, how quickly can I get promoted on this job? While ambition is great, asking about promotions too early can make it seem like you're more interested in moving up than in the job you're applying for. Employers want to know that you're focused on excelling in the current role first. Instead, you could ask, can you tell me about the typical career path for someone in this role? This shows you're interested in long-term growth and understanding how you can develop within the company. Question number two, is there a probation period? While it's important to know this information, asking about it during the initial interview can make it seem like you're unsure about your ability to succeed in the role. Um, a better approach is to wait until the employer provides this information during the offer stage, or you can ask, can you tell me more about the onboarding process? This way, you can gain insights into the initial phase of employment without focusing on the probationary aspect. Question number three, what is the salary for this position? While compensation is important, bringing it up too early in the interview process can be off-putting. It can give the impression that you're primarily motivated by money rather than the job itself. It's usually best to wait until the employer brings up the topic of compensation. If you must ask, do it towards the end of the interview with something like, can you tell me about the compensation and benefits package for this role? This phrasing is more professional and considerate. Question number four, do you monitor employee internet usage? Sounds funny. Well, I have heard worse as a recruiter. Asking a question about internet usage monitoring can raise red flags about your intentions and professionalism. It might make the employer wonder why you're concerned about being monitored. If you're curious about the work environment, try asking, can you tell me about the company culture and what a typical day looks like here? This allows you to get a sense of the workplace without implying you might misuse company resources. Question number five, what other jobs are available here? This can make it seem like you're not interested in the specific role you're applying for. It's important to show enthusiasm for the job at hand. If you're interested in other opportunities, you could ask, are there opportunities for growth and advancement within the company? This keeps the focus on your career development. We have gone through the first five questions to avoid asking at a job interview. Have you ever asked any of these? or maybe you know someone who did. If you find this information helpful, please give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to Career Zone for more insightful career tips, and share this video with job seekers around you. Your support helps us continue to provide valuable content to help you succeed in your career. Now, let's dive into the next five questions you should steer clear of during an interview Plus, I have a bonus question, so make sure to watch till the end. Question number six, how much vacation time do I get? Similar to the salary question, asking about vacation time too early can make it seem like you're more interested in time off than in the job itself. A more appropriate way to find out about benefits is to ask, can you tell me about the benefits package? This way, vacation time is included in a broader discussion about overall benefits. Question number seven. 
are there any tasks in this job that I might not like? This question can come across as negative and may make the employer question your enthusiasm for the role. Instead, ask something like, what are the main challenges someone in this role might face? This shows you're realistic and prepared to tackle difficulties without seeming pessimistic. Question number nine, how did I do? While it's natural to want feedback, asking this question can put the interviewer on the spot and may come across as insecure. It's better to wait for their formal feedback after the interview process. Instead, ask something like, what are the next steps in the interview process? This shows you're interested in moving forward and are confident in your performance. Question number 10, how often do employees get raises? While it's important to know about salary progression, asking this question early can make you seem more interested in money than the job itself. A better way to approach this topic is to ask, can you tell me about the performance review process? This shows you're focused on your development and understanding how performance is measured. And finally, here come the bonus question. Do you do background checks? Asking this can raise suspicions about your past and intentions. Employers typically conduct background checks, so it's best not to bring this up. Focus on presenting yourself positively and honestly throughout the interview. If they have any specific checks, they'll inform you during the hiring process. Um, there you have it. 10 questions to avoid during your next job interview. Remember, it's all about making a positive impression and showing that you're genuinely interested in the role and the company. Thanks for watching Career Zone. If you found this video helpful, be sure to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you never miss out on our latest career tips. Have you ever asked a question in an interview that you later regretted? Share your experiences in the comments below. Until next time, happy job hunting. You've got this.